Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is the uh, ID, OD wall 283 bench mic. It measures uh, ID, OD wall of two samples. Uh, the way it operates is um, has a laser scanner across the air gap here. This is a, a two inch laser beam. In that beam there's a mandrel and what we do is we zero the, the mandrel out before we take a reading whenever we switch the unit on or whenever we change the mandrel due to product size. The, the mandrel doesn't want to be a tight fit in the tubing ID. It wants to be a sliding fit uh, but, but more than 50% uh, of the ID that's, um, that's, that, that we're, we're measuring. Before you ever start reading on new mandra, you have to zero the, zero the mandra but by pressing the icon in this uh, corner screen here. Press fixture, master IDOD wall. Make sure there's no part in the beam and then press OK. It's going to momentarily show green here and zero out. The unit's then ready to be used. Take your tube sample, no shorter than about three quarters to one inch, ideally about one inch is perfect. Sample positions onto the uh, mandrel here and is straddled by the two drive belts that are in there. You lift that up so you can see it. Yeah. That comes down and drives it. There's a little bit of belt lap. We then press the uh, go button to take a reading. What will happen now, if everything's set up properly, is that the um, fixture will rotate the tube sample around the mandrel and take the reading. When it's done, the, uh, the little icon in the corner will go from green to red and the numbers will appear on the screen. You can use this tab here to go and interrogate all of the data. You can go and look at the ID data. And the ID page actually will show all the averages here, average ID, OD, wall, etc. And you can scroll through those settings to look at the max, min and difference. You can then press this button again to go and look at the wall graph, to look at the uh, readings, uh, graphical readings, and then index around to look at the wall thickness around the circumference of the tube. The uh, degree indicator is at the bottom of that um, graphic that's shown there. This unit can also output to a PC for uh, data collection for IDOD wall. It also can connect directly to a printer to print out either a sample from each individual part or a batch from a multitude of parts. Cool. As, um, this particular unit has a hundred different libraries where you can store different product specs or different setups. We've actually selected two libraries here. One is uh, for product number one which indexes four times around the tube and then uh, library number two indexes eight times. So at the moment we've selected eight. Press select. And you can see here that um, uh, we, we're in library number two. It's shown on the top of the screen. Select library one. Press the bar. Use the up down arrow. Library one. Select. And it will indicate the top of the um, screen there it's changed. Yeah. And then you can just, uh, if, if you don't take, if you haven't turned it on and off and you haven't changed the mandrel, you can just simply press go. It will index around four different spaces, uh, four different positions this time and then 